Hello, in this video tutorial you are going to learn how to connect SQL Server Express remotely. In this video tutorial we are going to do two things. First we are going to enable SQL Server to accept remote connection. Secondly we are going to add SQL Server connection port in firewall. So without wasting any more time let us see how we are going to do this. Now we are on the Windows Server 2012 machine. First thing to do is to check the IP address of this server. Press Windows plus R to open Run dialog box. In the Run dialog box type CMD. This will open the command prompt window. In the command prompt window type ipconfig and then press enter. This will show the IP address of your server. As you can see over here. On the run dialog box type cmd then type ipconfig which is displaying the IP address of this server. The IP address of this server is 192.168.1.26. Now press the windows button and go to start menu. From the start menu, click on SQL Server Configuration Manager. Once the SQL Server Configuration Manager is open, click on the SQL Server Services to check how many instances of SQL Server you have installed. As you can see over here, we have installed one instance of SQL Server that is SQL Server Express Edition. Now click on the arrow sign to expand the SQL Server Network Configuration. Then we are going to click on Protocol for SQL Express. If you don't know, I should tell you the SQL Express is an instance name of our SQL Server which we have installed. Now click on Protocol for SQL Express. Then from the right side window, you will see three options. Select the last option that is TCP IP. Right click and then click on Enable. This will show you a warning. Any changes will be saved. However, they will not take effect until the service is stopped and started. Click OK. Now go to SQL Server Services and from the right side window, select the SQL Server instance which you want to restart. Then right click on the instance and click on Restart. As you can see right now, it is stopping the SQL Server and restarting it. Once the SQL Server is restarted, go back to SQL Server Network Configuration, Protocol for SQL Express and then double click on TCP IP. Here you can see there are two tabs are available, Protocol and IP Addresses. So from the IP Addresses tab, go to the last options available, let's move down, OK. Here in the IP All section, you will see two options. TCP dynamic ports and the port number is 49159. The dynamic ports can change automatically. So we are going to use a static port. For static port we are going to select a second option that is TCP ports. So on the TCP port option we are going to type the port number which is 49170. After this go back to TCP dynamic ports and remove the port number. OK. Then click on Apply. Click on OK. Once again click on OK. Now go to SQL Server Services and restart the SQL Server instance for which you have configured the port number. OK. Now let us minimize the SQL Server Configuration Manager. Next thing what we have to do is we have to configure Windows Firewall. In Windows Firewall, we are going to open the port which we have configured in SQL Server Configuration Manager for incoming connection. So open the folder and click on Computer. From the Computer, click on View, Computer and then go to Open Control Panel. From the right side, click on Category, Small Icons, then select Windows Firewall. On the Windows Firewall, from the left side click on advanced settings. From the advanced settings click on inbound rules. Here from the right side action pane window click on new rule. From the new inbound rule wizard click on the second radio button and then click on next. Here we have selected specific local ports. We are going to enter the port number which we have configured in SQL Server configuration manager which is 49170. Let's copy this port click on next then once again let's click on next 
click on next just give the name the same port number that is 49170 I am also going to type SQL so that it will be easier to recognize then click on finish over here you can see the port which we have added now let's close the firewall okay so this was our main server on which the SQL Server database engine is installed this server name is server 2 now let us go to our another server from which we are going to connect this SQL Server database engine so just hold on for a second let me move to another server okay now this is server 1 now first thing to do is to check the connectivity between both of the machines so go to run and type CMD then click on OK or hit enter on the command prompt window type ping and the IP address of the remote computer as you can see we are able to ping that means the communication between the two systems is established now let us close the command prompt window then press windows button and go to start from the start menu select SQL Server Management Studio in our scenario we are using SQL Server 2014 on the SQL Server Management Studio I am going to type the IP address of the remote computer then comma and then the port number of the remote SQL Server which we have configured which will look like this we have selected the SQL authentication the login is SA and the password is very secret I am not going to tell you so let me type down the password and then click on connect so as you can see we are successfully able to connect to the remote SQL Server using another system now we can virtually do anything whatever we like from this system as we are physically sitting on that remote computer so it completes our this video tutorial don't forget to watch our next video tutorial which will be very informative for you hello friends thank you for watching our this video tutorial if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to receive an email update whenever we post a new video share it with your technical IT friends if you are having any technical problem or have any suggestions post your comment here or catch me on Google Plus, Facebook, Twitter and Skype. This video tutorial is presented by Sajin Saimi powered by ITZOZ.com and you are watching this video on YouTube channel Peter Christ.